Who are you and what do you do at Crystal Commerce? Uh, my name is Joe Orton and I'm the Head of Admin and Operations here at Crystal Commerce. Hi, I'm Nick Amelia. I'm Manager of Platform Operations. My name is Sneaky and I'm the Head of Brand and Marketing Team. My name is David, I am a product manager. I'm Darren Cunningham and I am a uh, technical service representative working within the client experience department. My name is Dan, I'm the founder and CEO of Crystal Commerce. My pleasure to have started this business back in 2006. If my credit card declines three times, my admin gets locked out. What should I do if this happens over a weekend? With weekend support now extending over the weekends, you will be able to chat in and ask for the support representative to give you a call to update your credit card on file. However, we understand that this is an annoyance and it's a very time consuming for our business owners that their time is very precious. So we are looking for ways for you to update your credit card via the admin. Well now, uh, if that happens on a Saturday or Sunday, um, I'm available on live chat. Um, I'm also available by uh, contacting through Crystal members and through email as well on the weekend. Uh, 9 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. Go ahead and uh, contact me through any of those channels and I'll be glad to get you unlocked and get that resolved. Do you currently have a schedule in place for deployments? You don't want to schedule deployments, period. If you are holding back new code that can fix a bug or can present a new feature, you should never schedule deployments. Two or three years ago, if you asked somebody, when do you deploy? They might say, oh, once every month or once every two months. But what happens is you get all of these changes built up into one giant deploy and the interdependencies between different parts of our code base make it so that if one thing goes wrong with that deploy, it's extremely difficult to understand what it was that went wrong. So no, we, we definitely don't schedule deploys uh, like once every week or once every two weeks. What we want is as many deploys as are necessary once a product is ready to be released or a feature is ready to be released or a bug is ready to be fixed. It should be deployed immediately. Um, and that keeps the complexity of the actual deploy down. It makes it much more easy to figure out if anything went wrong with the deploy, and we can just be more agile with the process in general. So no, we don't ever have a schedule for deployments. Uploading images is sometimes spotty lately using Safari and sometimes Chrome. A dead image link appears. Why is this? There was an issue with Transloadit, which is the service we use for uploading images, as well as uh, Amazon's uh, Amazon Web Services S3. Uh, that was down uh, earlier this week, which caused a lot of issues all over the internet, not just with us. So if you have been having issues with uploading images this recently, it was probably related to one of those things. In general, if you have an issue uploading an image, it might be because of Transloadit. If you're using Chrome, we tend to see more issues in Chrome than with in Firefox. Uh, with Chrome, a lot of times the image won't show up at first, or it'll show up as a broken link. If it shows up as a broken link, you just need to wait like 5-10 minutes and the image will appear. But in general, Firefox is the most reliable browser to use. UI responds immediately when you upload an image, and it expects an image to be there with a source and a URL for that source and to display something because uh, that's the way the web page works. Um, but what happens when you upload an image is it actually gets sent via a service to a processing engine that uh, creates a variety of sizes of whatever image you upload and allows and returns all of those back to the front end so that they can be used. So like a thumbnail image is generated and a variety of other sizes are generated too. Um, that process takes a little bit of time, so when you, you press the button to upload your image and it, that job gets fired off, the web page itself expects an image immediately, but the job hasn't finished processing elsewhere and returned and, and actually created the file that the web page expects. So oftentimes there's a little dead image link there uh, for the first little bit. I have heard Dan mention POS version 4 in previous videos. When can we expect this to be rolled out? POS version 4 will be demoed at the Gamma Trade Show. I would say that's coming in the next few weeks to a month. Um, you know, we may have something even sooner for people that want to really get their hands on it quickly. Uh, and so I would stay tuned for that. 
the thing about it I'm most excited is it's the first major application built off of Crystal API. So what it does is it uses a lot of the new API endpoints and a lot of other nerdy stuff that was built into the platform that really allows it to be much more functional and more integrated into the app um, uh, and platform. Uh, so it'll be faster, it'll be more capable, and it'll unlock new functionality that previously was impossible. Stay tuned for more information this year at Gamma. I will be attending Gamma 2017. Will Crystal Commerce be revealing new features? Will you be holding a Q&A session? Yes, most of the leaders here in Crystal Commerce will be attending and this year will be my first time um, at the Gamma Trade Show and I would love to meet you guys. I'm really excited to see you guys face to face and we can, you know, we can talk and chat and all that. And for the new features, we will be doing a demo for the POS V4 and marketplaces and one of the newest uh, retailer premium membership feature is the retailer performance dashboard and that's really exciting so you don't want to miss that. We do have a Q&A session and that will be on Wednesday night March 15 from 9 p.m. to 10:30 p.m. in Vegas 5. See you there. Thank you to everyone who submitted your questions. If you have a question to submit for Q&A sessions, send an email to marketing at crystalcommerce.com with the subject line Q&A sessions.